Uh, Honorable Ferguson, <laughs> you have the floor, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Honourable President, um, just this morning, a lolly lounge in Coronationville Township, Johannesburg, was raided. The community has been complaining about these lounges for a long time, and particularly about the hostel at the high school in this area. Mr. President, we cannot rely on knee-jerk reactions as what we've seen in El Dorado Park. Besides a ministerial team, is there a national task team that has been set up to develop short and long-term solutions? And the national drug master plan that you speak of and the campaign cannot become another talk shop. Mr. P President, um, given that the problem of drug trafficking and drug addiction is an international one, what measures are we being put in place to combat um, and control our porous borders against the scourge? And with whom in the international community are you really hazing to establish best practice? Thank you. The Honourable the President. Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Honourable Speaker. The, the reaction to El Dorado Park was not out of the media. The mother, the parents, wrote a letter to the President and described the situation very clearly, and that's what made the president to react. So it's not, it's not the media. <clears throat> As a result of what has happened at El Dorado Park, government is in the process of developing a national strategy because we believe this must be fought at a national level. And I, I believe it is important for us, if we think this is a problem, that we say, what is it that we are going to do whether we are political parties or whatever, to help ensure that we deal with this issue. That's what I will expect. Because if we say this is a problem, then it must be dealt with. You know, the, this problem in the Western Cape has been there, leading in every other sphere. In other countries, it has come late. What is it? This is what we should all be saying. How do we hold hands and forget about political differences? to save our country, to save our future. I think that is what I would expect in a debate of this nature. Thank you very much. I thank the President.